New England Living is brought to you by Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Welcome to New England Living, I'm Parker Kelly. And I am passionate about art, architecture and design. I also love to travel, meet new people and I'm definitely a foodie. Join me each week as I travel all over this beautiful region showcasing the most spectacular homes and meeting the key players involved in creating them. To top it off, I'll cook up some delicious dish with a chef and we'll finish it off with a celebration of it all. I'm Parker Kelly and this is New England Living. Today I'm on my way to Newtown, Connecticut in the southwestern part of the state. Newtown is an excellent example of a rural New England town with a population of about 28,000 and a natural border along the Housatonic River. The town center offers local shopping, a seasonal farmer's market, and a wide range of restaurants, cafes, and delis. Founded in 1711, Newtown is full of history. In the late 1800s, it was a major railroad center, and a large flagpole was erected in the middle of Main Street in 1876 to celebrate the nation's centennial, and it still stands today. Fun fact, the game Scrabble was said to be invented here in 1948. I'm on my way to meet homeowners Pete and Summer in their gorgeous renovated 1700s farmhouse. The home was originally about 3,500 square feet, but after the renovation, it's now about 8,000. The home sits on 63 beautiful acres, 35 of which are wooded trails, which come in handy because this family rides. Summer is a seasoned rider who competes nationally and internationally. She competed aggressively early on, but took a break when the kids were young, but is back in the saddle again. The property is amazing. It has a garden, apple orchards, horse stables housing 16 horses, a pond, stone terrace, outdoor grass ring, Grand Prix field, outdoor sand ring, and an indoor arena. We're gonna meet the homeowners, take a tour of this incredible home and spectacular property. And then Pete and Summer are going to turn their kitchen over to a local chef and me. We're going to cook up a dinner party and celebrate New England living in Newtown. Hi. Hi you must be Summer. Nice, yeah, to, nice meet to meet you. Hi. Hello, Peter. Parker. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's just gorgeous driving in. Well, good. Well, we are happy to have you here. Well, yes. thank you. Yes, welcome. I'm going to let you and Pete go and do a tour of the house. Okay. And then I'll meet up with you guys later to um, walk through the barn and some of the property. Love that. Pete, I don't often get to meet the homeowner who is also the, the brilliant architect behind this. I'm very excited. This So this is a uh, renovation? Yes. Yeah, so okay. the original house was built in 1784, and we decided to do a renovation because we have four young kids and basically it was a two-bedroom house okay. and so we added on so this is the great room and it is great it's all stone from the property um, this all came off the property yes yeah wow. we have a wonderful mason and then we uh, used one of the beams for the mantle that was one of the beams that was in this house and we actually had someone slicing for us and chestnut beams and we just love the character of this with the the Morris and Tendon, you even get some of the notching of either how they use it to, to build, uh, what location it's at, or how they floated it down the river to indicate what company gets that timber. But one of the cool things I love is seeing how they traditionally built, you know, okay. how they joined everything and they use little shims. That looks a little precarious, actually. Well, you, get, you get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You know, when you see that, but it's been through some serious weather for, you know, almost 300 years. <laughs> wow. But we'll go into um, the kitchen area. Oh, wow, look at this. This was here. One of the previous owners put this in. It makes uh, a, com a, a complete transformation of, how you the, feel. of the coziness and just how yes. you feel in the kitchen. Perfect. I'll come home and I'll see my kids in the rocking chairs next to the fire. I love it. The, the combination of the five extremely modern appliances, yes. extremely efficient kitchen. Yes. This yep. is a cook's kitchen. Yes, it I is. I can see. Yes. Hey guys. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I would love to have you join us. And so, do you want to show me some species upstairs? Okay. <laughs> wow. 
wow, this is spectacular. Yeah. Family ties are precious threads. No matter where we roam, they draw us close to those we love and pull our hearts toward home. Yeah. Now, is that a quote of your own, or does that someone no. attribute to them? We just spent some time looking, because we know this house, this property, you know, it's, it is ours. See, we live here now, but it's going to be a generational property. So it's something that, you know, we wanted to make sure that... Our we, kids knew they were always welcome. Yeah. You could say, we'll always leave the light on for yeah. you, but we didn't want to go with that cheesy, so we designed, <laughs> designed a, a timber frame and carved it. <laughs> we can come up with on our own. <laughs> Look at this. So here's the master bathroom. Look at that tub. Yes. Look, oh, look at this tile. You know, I know the whole like gray tan thing's really in, but I don't see why it would ever go out. It's so well, pretty. I mean, that's not like not like an avocado or a yeah. Yeah, that's what, when you're designing for something that really will be here, you know, in a hundred yes. years, you want it so cool. Look, the same. Oh, look at the woodwork in here too. Lovely. Mm. The yeah, the chestnut. Mm -hmm. Once again, the chestnut. This is one of the original bedrooms. There was an attic above, so we exposed everything and made a loft for our oldest daughter. So we put a library ladder and put bookshelves and a little swinging chair up there. And, and she's 11? Yes. Oh, what a dream. Oh, she, what she a loves dream. it. Yes. This was pine yeah. from the original house, and some of the boards were 20 inches wide. So we ended up doing it for the kids' rooms. And it's really a hard pine because it's just so old. So. so one of the last spaces we did is uh, there was an attic where we found a lot of this uh, chestnut wood. And we had heard that there were the largest purlin beams of On chestnut fire. in the state of Connecticut. And they run the whole length of the house on both sides. It's all one continuous beam. We were nervous about the structure, integrity of it. So we designed and built a, another roof on top of this. So now none of these chestnut beams are actual structural. Okay, so. good, because I'm standing under it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Yes. And you'll see, you know, the, uh, yeah. the oh. Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll keep him, too. <laughs> yeah. That's good. There, there you go. Coming up. So this is the horse barn. 16 stalls, a uh, couple of apartments. Now, does Pete say that you also now do design and he, and he likes to do tile? We don't, we love that. We're in part control for you, so we want to do everything. Clark, New England's official Sub Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen, offers three reasons to begin your project here explore the world's finest appliances, then cook and taste Wolf's culinary perfection. Be inspired by innovative design. Do you crave extraordinary? Visit ClarkLiving.com to plan your visit. Technology is becoming a must have for most areas of our homes. So it's important to get familiar with what your options are. Add a touchless kitchen faucet as an affordable solution to help you get on track. Consult with a Kohler specialist to explore all the possibilities to make your home work for you. This tip is brought to you by Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. With eight generations of exquisite craftsmanship, Kumar brings a whole new meaning to passion and precision. Their treasures come from remote corners of the earth, traveling across many oceans. The Kubi family brings to the United States the largest selection of exotic stones. Kumar, when only the finest will do. From the moment you see it, it commands your respect. You can feel its immense power. The only way to master it is to venture inside. Go ahead, dive in. The GMC Sierra. We are professional grade. So this is the horse barn. 16 stalls, a uh, couple of, of apartments. Um, and that And then all the support mm -hmm. space that is needed with the uh, the horses. Okay, so the apartments, some of the staff um, from the property live there too? Yes, yeah, so the barn manager and one of the grooms lives here. 
because the horses, I know a lot of people don't understand, they really do need 24 hour care. And the other big building off to the right is the indoor arena. Um, and the sand ring is uh, where they do most of the training. We do the jumpers and then my daughter does the ponies. We're really lucky because we have a great barn manager and we live right there and the horses are here so it's super convenient. To practice. And the kids ride and it's really, you know, my sister lives close, her, her kids ride so the cousins are together a lot and it's just, it's fun, it's really fun. You know, all the kids work on cleaning the stalls <laughs> and help feeding them and of course, you know, they're supervised but they're all, they're all expected to clean their tack and groom the horses and, and do their, their chores too so it's, it's a good exercise for them as well. Oh, this is nice. Cobbles here. Yeah. yeah. Well, in herringbone. In a way that you can open up these French doors. This is mm -hmm. the main entry to the barn, okay. and this is the trophy room. And what we did is we designed a way where we can open up these doors and seal off the two wings. Oh, okay. And when I say seal off, we can we can shut these wings down and have it open. And up above us is a mezzanine that looks into both spaces. The trophy room. I see that. Yeah. And they did the you know field stone for the fireplace again. Once again, all yeah. stone from the site. Incredible. Yeah. What a beautiful space. It well is. designed. That's really nice. And gorgeous to look at. And then and then such a beautiful like lifestyle in here. Yeah. Incredible. Mm -hmm. So I'm here with Phil Hubbard, and uh, Phil is Pete's partner, and so nice to chat with you, and uh, I'd love you to tell me about your partnership. I mean, how did this come about? It's funny. Pete and I both worked at an architectural firm, a different firm, together, and I had a Trout Unlimited calendar, and he had fish but was from Salt Lake, hadn't been out here, didn't know where to go. So we became fast friends and fly fish. All so things come from fishing. How do you feel like Good working things. on the same property where he lives, also in this mini village that you've sort of created? Yeah, so it, it's wonderful. Tell we, me about that. we started with the storage barn here, uh, which was the first building, and it really set the vernacular for what the others to come would look like. The owners envisioned this New England horse farm, uh, so we wanted it to look New England shingle style, uh, a lot of stone. In fact, all the stone on all the buildings come from this property. We didn't import any of it, which is neat. Yeah, he told me that. That's yeah. amazing. And now, does Pete say that you also now do uh, design? And he, I mean, he likes to do tile. Is that typical for architects to get into all those areas, too? We don't. We love that. We're in part control freaks, so we want to do everything. Uh, actually, Pete's quite good at it, um, selecting tiles and patterns in an interesting way that, you know, make a bathroom special. And yeah, he talked about the signature where he has similar tones, but it's sort of a pattern that's, that works with it, but it's not too different. Oh, yeah. So they really marry mm -hmm. well. It's very subtle, but rich. It, it's got a lot of interest, and, you know, the more you look, the more you see. Well, the work is beautiful that you guys do. It's a beautiful home. Yeah. It turned out just, and it's got both the historical element and the upgrading, and it's got everything going for it. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, so, thanks. Great thanks meeting you. Thank, thank you so much. All right. Appreciate it. Coming up. Yeah, we got a pack with us back right there. <laughs> and there's no ever actually juggled a egg so yolk before. It has been said cooking is like love. It should be entered into with abandon or not at all. And if you're looking to design the kitchen to create that love, there's no place more passionate about cooking than Clark. And here with us is Sean Clark to learn more about their newest innovative design destination. Hi, Sean. Hi, Erica, and welcome to Clark. This is our newest showroom and test kitchen for Sub-Zero and Wolf, located at 7 Tide Street in Boston Seaport. So for homeowners and the design community, what can they expect here? They can expect an unparalleled experience because we don't sell anything here. There's no cash register. So the idea is to give you design inspiration with life-size kitchens and the opportunity to test drive all of our appliances. And there's innovation at every corner. What is this area? So this is our media lounge where your architect or designer can project your kitchen plan to scale and then steps away, the products come to life in one of our working kitchens. Wow, this really helps to envision how these products are 
actually going to look in your own kitchen. That's the goal. And as you can see here with Sub-Zero, you have the opportunity to customize your refrigerator, your freezer, and your wine storage to specifically fit your lifestyle. Plus, you can test drive Wolf's newest technology. Test driving these appliances is really the only way to make the right selections. And then we take you from test drive to tasting. And this is my favorite part. With our small bites, you'll leave here with a taste of what's possible in your kitchen and the name of an authorized dealer. Try one. This looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Mm-hmm. Clark at Seven Tide is truly a revolutionary experience in kitchen design. If you are looking for kitchen inspiration, visit ClarkLiving.com to find out more. On the next day of my visit, Summer invited me to go for a horseback ride with her and her oldest daughter, Sadie. And then, with this happy family, the more the merrier. The rest of the kids, Aiden, Parker, and Remy, plus several of the family's pets decided they wanted to tag along too. It looks good. Yeah, you're good yeah. to go. Good. You guys are matching. Oh, That's it. All right, All right. you me sister power. You know I haven't ridden on a horse for a long, long time. Also, I win. I win the medal before I even yes. do the racing. <laughs> I, I'm so okay. Do I go to the top or the middle? That's probably good. This one here. You're gonna put your left foot in here. Yes. And then swing your other foot over. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Wow. Well done. Nine, so we have two main trails. One's a short loop that's about a half a mile and then there's a longer loop about a mile. So a mile and a half altogether, but it weaves oh, probably my. within 30 acres or so. Do you gallop through here or do you just usually take nice strolls? You usually just take it pretty easy because it's used for the horses, but we also have kids on dirt bikes and people on bikes and babies in strollers. So we take it pretty easy. Every once in a while we'll pick up a little trot, but we, uh, we like to keep it slow and steady. What a beautiful place to raise a family though. Yeah. I would say. They do, you know, I guess we debated about putting the trail in, not knowing if it would get as much use, yeah. you know, as we thought, but every day there's somebody out here. And so, and even just, you know, some of the family just comes out walking or running. And so it gets a lot of multi-purpose use. <laughs> we got a pack with us, that's for sure. Yeah, we got everyone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And this is life on the farm. They're out here all the time. Especially, I mean, it's you know it gets darker earlier now, but in the summertime, it's like yeah. all day. You know, they just and it's kind of nice because it's safe. You know, they usually will take a dog with them every only once. Have some of our kids run into a coyote. Yeah. You know, but they have the dogs with them, and there's always dogs around between my sister's house. You know, us here. They just sort of like you know run and roam and. That's great. And yeah. always eyes looking out for them as well. Yeah. And yeah. animals are great protectors. They are. Yep. It's so awesome. We love it every day. Pond five. So we're going to get a little Italian for the rest of this episode. I'm here in Bethel, the next town over. And uh, this is one of Pete and Summer's favorite restaurants, La Zingara and uh, Echo the Rooftop. I'm here to meet Lisa Tassone, she's the owner. I'm also going to meet Romilio and Roberto, and I'm gonna cook a little pasta in here with them, and then we're gonna go to the home and put on a big dinner party. Come on, let's go meet Lisa. Lisa! Hi, Parker, how are you? I'm well, how are good, you? Good, good, welcome. Thank you, beautiful restaurant. Thank you, thank you. How long have you owned it? Um, we've been here 14 years. Um, the main restaurant, and then uh, we did an addition in 2011, so. This is all a new part of the restaurant, and we added a rooftop uh, eatery as well. Very nice. A little more and casual. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm getting the feeling, though, it's uh, casual or dressy. Yep. It's Italian. Italian, definitely. Now, are you definitely Italian also? Half Calabrese and half Piemontese. So we call our restaurant Regional Italian because I don't want the two sides of the family fighting. Oh, good. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> so we represent all regions of Italy. <laughs> what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do the dough first. I just go like this, and then just. Okay. Separate the yolk oh, from the white. Yeah. And it's not safe. I've ever actually juggled a egg so yolk before. Do you know what we're stuffing this with today? Uh, we're going to stuff with some ricotta. Fabio, nice. look at this. You're doing great. It's, like, great. it's like I've been doing it my whole life. Actually, you're ready to take over us. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa's going to hire right. me. I'm yes. in. 
and now we're gonna add uh, uh, egg yolk into it then we're gonna finish with some parmesan brown sage uh, with butter and uh, some truffle oil so these are made with love you can tell these are taken one at a time handmade it takes a little bit of time but it tastes so good yeah, it so does. time works you don't want to rush something like that yeah well, that's how you make a raviolo del volvo yeah? Correct. Correct. <laughs> so Lisa and I are going to go over to Holbrook Farm and get some more uh, vegetables and things for the uh, dinner tonight. I'm going to leave these red gentlemen to continue. Thank you. All right, carry All right. on. Thank nice you. you. Coming up. I really haven't had a lot of wilted mustard beans, really, so this is just a meeting. Yeah, it's good. Me. Don't forget the I won't. Is that good? You're good. Shoreline Pools has become Cape Cod's largest builder. They're a team of dedicated and creative professionals that build pools where memories are made and good times are shared with friends and family. They specialize in 3D design so you can see what pool will fit the best for your home. Shoreline Pools doesn't just build pools, they build dreams. So off from uh, La Zingara, and now we're at Holbrook Farm. This is Jess Wong. Jess, hi. hi. <laughs> now Jess is a, a, a farmer now, mm -hmm. and uh, this farm, Jess is trying to get to be year-round, and it's one of the places that Lisa loves to um, loves to get some of her fresh produce. And so your family, the, the, your adopted family, has had this uh, farm for? Uh, for about 40 years. Uh, they, they've lived on the property and have been farming it for the last 20. And um, they're, they're in their 70s, late 70s, so they retired and I took over about a year ago, both the farm and the farm market. So congratulations Thank and you. good luck. Yay. How big is the property? Uh, we're growing on about uh, three, three and a half acres. Beautiful. So it's micro farming. Yes, yes. Well, I love it. And, and sustainable and local, local. And, and just really great for restaurants and great for, for local business. So yeah. tell us what we're getting. And so today we came down, we, I was here yesterday, we picked up the uh, eggs that we made the raviolo uh, with earlier. And then today we're picking up some parsnips um, to do a parsnip potato smash and some mustard greens that we're gonna wilt uh, to serve with our short ribs today. I really haven't had a lot of wilted mustard greens, really, so this is just amazing Yeah, it's good. Me. It has a little little bitterness to it. Um, oh, like escarole? Or yeah, yep, kind of along, along those lines. lines. Yep. All right, see you, Jess. Bye. 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 <laughs> great resource to have. Good idea, Lisa. Oh, yeah, it's great. I'm getting hungrier by the minute. Very oh, excited. Just a couple more hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we are ready uh, to start the dinner party. Joining us from uh, Les... La Zingara. La, ring, la, la, la Zingara. La Zingara. We didn't drink any wine. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Roberto. And uh, you remember. Romero. So we're here now that we've gotten all the Italian out of the way. Let's cook Italian, shall we? So what are we going to do now? Where the guests are going to be arriving soon. Okay, we're going to start putting the board together with all the salumi, the Italian dried meats and everything. We have prosciutto, coppa, salami, soppressata, and mortadella. Mortadella is my favorite 
This is uh, what I grew up on. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the candied walnuts complete the set. That looks beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what we're going to do. We're going to peel the corn nuts and um, the chocolate. Okay. And so you just mash this right with the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Anything else with the potatoes? It's like the smash that we do. When everything is nice and cold, we put it together and with butter and a little cream, salt, pepper. You just smash it, it comes out nice. Okay, so this is going to be the, the main part of the, the meal that we'll be serving tonight, and that's short ribs. Mm -hmm. And so, how long do we sear these for? Oh, well, we until they get nice color, nice brown color. Nice brown color all over. Okay. That looks good. Yeah. So you're going to put the vegetables in there now, in there, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what vegetables are we going to use? You've uh, already... Here is uh, onions, carrots, and celery. And a uh, sprig of uh, 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 rosemary sage. and sage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Beautiful. Now so we're going to put the back there. So we can, uh, okay, put them back in. Now it's one time. <laughs> one time. I'm going to go over the Ah. So uncovered right in. We're going to say four, four fifty. Four, four fifty. And it's going to stay there for a while. All right, two and a half hours. I'll watch four a movie. Hours. I'll meet you here later. It wasn't long until the guests started to arrive, and I soon found out that many of them were the parents of the players from Aiden's football team. So everyone had lots to talk about. So we have the ravioli that we already made, yep. and we're gonna we're gonna cook the ravioli. Yes. Yep, that's good. The brown butter. And a little bit of the parmigiano. Is this is this enough? Or too much? A little more. Just a little more. A little truffle oil. Don't forget the truffle oil. I won't, and I won't forget. That you did with your thumb. <laughs> Is that good? You're good. A beautiful meal. Lisa Tassone and Roberto and Romilio from La Zingara. Of course, we have beautiful friends and a beautiful setting. The architecture here is gorgeous, the architects to you. And Pete and Summer and their friends. It's been a beautiful day, and this is what it's all about, New England living in Newtown. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers. Cheers. New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, and Wolf, and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston.